Hey guys, I'm Ben. Welcome to my channel. Uh, so today I have an awesome surprise here. Uh, this is a battery that was sent to me by Battery Hookup. Uh, uh, we're going to open it up, uh, see what we can do to get it working. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be an awesome battery, I, I think. I mean, depending on how we use it. So uh, come along for the ride. Okay, so this is a Mopar brand battery. Uh, it's got 12 volt, it's got ground, and it's got 48 volt. So, um, what Tom at Battery Hookup said is that uh, basically this has a DC to DC converter inside of it. So it can either output 48 volts or 12 volts. Um, and I believe it can input 12 volts, I would assume. Maybe it can input 48, I'm not sure, um, but we're going to find out. So, first things first, I'm just going to test these, see what's going on here. Alright, so nothing on the 12 volt, nothing on the 48 volt. I don't know, I think these are, these are ground terminals here, so there shouldn't be anything on those. So there's continuity here. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay, so this is also a ground terminal. That's a ground terminal. Those have continuity. That's just for show. So, get this opened up here. Okay. All right, so on the cover, it also says air outlet, air inlet. You can see a little, uh, looks like an air filter on the side here. And a little grill on the, right there next to the DC to DC trans or converter. Okay. So, there it is. So here's the DC to DC converter. All the wiring and the associated parts. Let me see if I can show you on the end here. So this looks like the communication port. Um, maybe for the BMS too, I don't know, really. So yeah, here's the battery over on this side. So let's see, I wanna see if this battery has juice here. Put that back to DC. Yes, 41.9 volts. Um, so I think Tom had mentioned that it was a 13S, either a 12 or 13S. Um, I'll have to pull this pack uh, or I could, yeah, I, I can probably see it from right here without opening it up. But uh, I just wanna see what that is to know what my voltages are gonna be. Um, so I'll show you guys what that is in a little bit. Um, yeah, over on this side, looks like we have BMS leads. Um, and then this little wiring harness here. This goes, looks like it goes over to the fan and that's probably the control. Um, there's also a relay right over here or a contactor of some sort. Um, and a 200 amp fuse. Cool, so we know we don't want to go over 200 amps in or out of the pack. This is on the high voltage side. Um, cool. Well, let me, what am I gonna do next? I'm gonna pull the DC to DC converter and see if there's any way I can get this thing to turn on. Obviously, I'm not a computer expert, so I don't know the ins and outs of uh, CAN bus, communication or anything. I'm assuming it uses CAN bus. Um, I, I don't know the first thing about it. I, I tried to look it up this morning and you know, I, I'm, I'm not even going to try to mess with it. Um, <laughs> so let's see, maybe there's some sort of override in here. I don't know. Um, and then if that doesn't work, I may try uh, jumping out this uh, contactor here and see if I can get this thing to power up. A 
obviously you want to be really careful inside of a pack like this. Um, there's a, you know, a good amount of potential here, even though it's only 41 volts. Um, it's, you know, if you short something out here, you're going to have a bad day. So be careful. So this is it's probably the, I don't know, BMS leads? Just disconnect everything here. Pretty easy to figure out which one goes where because they're different sizes. There it is. Okay, the whole fan comes right out. So that's got, that's a really nice unit there actually. That's got two fans, a bunch of wires. So it's different wires going to different fans. Maybe it has two speeds or one on and then the other one on or one on and then both on. That's pretty cool. Okay, so just be careful on this one here. So the positive is the fused side. Positive is fused. Negative. Does have reference to the frame of this. So we just gotta be real careful with that, that we don't uh, short that out. Okay, negative bus bar looks like nice tinned copper, hard plastic on it. That's cool. Looks like, ooh, there we go. Okay. Yes. So, there it is. A little broken piece of plastic in there from something. Okay. Cool, well we're gonna put that off to the side for a minute here. I wanna pull this battery out because we have it all apart anyway, so we might as well. Oh, there's a little gasket here around the air intake. Ooh, that's cool. So we got um, these aluminum uh, ports here. That's for air to flow through the cells. Okay, so looks like what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's got to be a 12S, I think. Flip this over. See what's on this side. There we are, main positive, main negative. Oh. oh, no, there's more over here. What do we got here? Positive to negative is, oh, that's, here we got main negative over on this side, main positive over here, that's right. So then 41.9, okay. I'm gonna put that off to the side. Look at that, it just comes right off. Whoa, look at that. Okay. Well, there it is. Wow, there's a lot going on in there. I'm not even going to begin to uh, speculate what all this is. Obviously, it's a DC to DC converter. Um, yeah. Bring in for a closer look here. 
So we got two layers of circuit boards. Um, I would venture a guess that this one, this one here is gonna be the BMS, just judging by the ports here. And then uh, this one over in the bottom here is gonna be the DC to DC converter. So I don't see anything on here It looks like I can mess with it and be productive. Um, so I am not going to. Um, so that brings me to the contactor. All right, so let's have a look at the contactor here. So it is a Panasonic brand contactor. That's hilarious. Um, looks like in and out. Model number on there. Again, I'll put that up on the uh, in the description. You guys can take a look at it if you want. It's got two wires, positive and negative. I'm just looking a little bit more at the battery pack here. So I got both covers off. I want to just dig into this a little bit and see where we're at. So, main negative, main positive. If I go from there to there, we're at 3.49 volts. And if I go 3.49, 3.49, 3.49, 3.49. Three point four nine. Three point four nine. It looks like we're perfectly balanced. And then I'll move over to this side. Three point four nine. Three point four nine. Four nine. Four nine. Four nine. Four nine. So we're at one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, uh, seven, sorry, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it does look like twelve S. All right, yeah, so three point uh, four nine times twelve is forty one point eight eight, uh, which corresponds with it. So it is a twelve S pack. Um, which is kind of on the low end for 48 volt, but it is what it is Still a, a real nice looking pack. I love I love the air cooling fins inside of it um, I will try to look up uh, the capacity of these cells this would be very easy to add your own BMS to this pack here um, and It's a little bit flexible actually it looks like Looks like these little tabs Little tabs right there push down and this whole thing could be fairly easily easily separated. They are spot welded together here. Um, you know, with the typical uh it's a kind of a mesh spot weld there. Um I guess you could nah, it would be kind of a pain in the butt to pull them apart. So probably not do that. Don't do that. All right, well, so what I think I'm gonna do right now actually is just ask for help. Cause I, I'm not an electronics guy. I, I mean, I know a contactor, I know, I know, you know, a current transformer. I know a bunch of these parts and pieces when I see them in here, I'm totally lost. I'm completely lost. So, uh, before I start cutting this thing apart and trying to get it to work my way, what do you guys have to say about it? You know, uh, what, you know, what should I try first? Um, you know, I think I think this is a BMS. I think that's the DC to DC uh, converter in there. I'm, I'm sure that's what that is. But I think this is the BMS here. Um, I don't even know if I can get this thing to to even power on without the car attached to it. And I don't know what the car was. I I, I don't know CAN bus. Um, so you know, uh, 
it's it's a cool little you know battery here and I could find lots of things to do with just the battery but it would be really neat if I could you know get it down to 12 volts um, I you know and have that ability to use the 12 or the or the uh, 48 volt um, on it so let me know what you guys think in the comments I'll put all the part numbers that I could find in there uh, in in the uh, description and um, yeah let me know what you guys think thanks for your help in advance